I did. Uh, Senora Hatch, she, uh, she actually took me on tour um, to the third floor, to her room, and uh, really of, of, of that floor and stuff. So I had a chance to go around a little bit, but not to every place. Is it a little weird? You're back in Apex, but you're not really. Um, it's very weird. Um, I have no clue where I'm at. I have no signal here, so it's kind of very foreign to me right now, but I mean, it's always good to see familiar faces at Friendship and here uh, at Apex High. Um, let's, let's switch over to sports. Um, you're getting ready to gear up for a CFL. Uh, what's some of your goals for your, uh, your CFL career? Um, so for this upcoming season, I want to come in probably in the best shape that I've ever been in. Um, this is my first real off season. Um, last year I was dealing with an injury uh, that I had to really um, tend to the whole off season. And so now I'm finally healthy, able to focus on going into a, a season with a great mindset. But I'm also still trying to figure out what team I'll be on. So I'm pretty excited to see how that happens, how what that goes. I'd love to stay where I was at in Winnipeg, but we'll see. We, we had a chance to talk, and you're definitely talking about Coach Wolf and oh. that, that OG, uh, OG coaching staff. Um, what's, what's one memory of Apex that, that's one of your favorite memories, whether um, it's on the court, football, or in the classroom? I wouldn't even say it's one. Um, I think being at Apex High, I was able to get around a great group of men, um, father figures. Uh, I didn't grow up with my father, and so it was just good to – be with around people like Coach Wolf, um, Coach Wilson, who is now at Friendship, um, Coach Bristol, who's now at Green Hope, or sorry, Panther Creek, and Coach Thomas, who's who's now coaches here, but coaches, I don't know. Everybody's every, all over the place, but it's just good uh, of the group of guys that I was able to be around um, and, and, and just build off of um, and have a good role model um, just to um, emulate. And you're definitely one of the alum that was all around. Um, what message would you say to kids now, going through high school, going through college athletics, had a stint in the NFL, now you're in the CFL? Um, sky's the limit. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of hard work and, and, and a lot of dedication that will go into it. But if you believe in yourself, um, if you have a good group of people around you, um, which is the next thing, you have to have a great, you know, support staff, friends included. Um, you can't just be with friends that are to for, to be cool and stuff. So you have to get around a group of friends who are going to push you to be better. Um, but most importantly, you just have to have have fun. Um, life is can be very is short. Um, you won't have many opportunities and chances to be yourself and be free and do whatever you want. So right now, while you're able to be who you are in high school before you make a transition to college, just enjoy it, have fun, and, and, and don't take things too serious except your schoolwork.